Hello guys, do you know about a neutron star? That what is a neutron star? In today's video, we are going to talk about the neutron star. So let's start the video without wasting your time. And please subscribe to my channel. A neutron star is the collapsed core of a massive supergiant star which had a total mass of between 10 and 25 solar masses, possibly more if the star was especially metal rich. Neutron stars are the smallest and dunest stellar objects, excluding black holes and hypothetical white holes, quark stars, and strange stars. Neutron stars have a radius on the order of 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, and a mass of about 1.4 solar masses. They result from the supernova explosion of a massive star combined with gravitational collapse that compress the core fast white dwarf star density to that of atomic nuclei. Once formed, they no longer actively generate heat and cool over time. However, they may still involve further through collision. Most of the basic models of these objects imply that neutron stars are composed almost entirely, entirely of neutrons, which means subatomic particles with no net electrical charge and with slightly larger mass than protons. The electrons and protons present in normal matter combine to produce neutrons at the condition in a neutron star. Neutron stars are partially supported against further collapse by neutron degeneracy pressure. A phenomenon described by the foul exclusion principle just as white dwarfs are supported against collapse by electron, electron degeneracy pressure. However, neutron degeneracy pressure is not by itself sufficient to hold upon an object beyond 0.7 solar mass and repulsive nuclear forces play a larger role in supporting more massive neutron stars. If the remaining stars has a mass exceeding the Ptolemy Ophirimer Volkov limit of around two solar masses, the combination of degeneracy, pressure, and nuclear pr forces is insufficient to support the neutron star and it continues collapsing to form a black hole. Neutron stars that can be observed are very really hot and typically have a surface temperature of around 60,000 Kelvin. They are so dense that normal sized matchbox containing neutron star material would have a weight of approximately 3 billion tons, the same weight as of 0.5 cubic kilometer chunk of the earth, a cube with edges of about 800 meters from earth's surface. Their magnetic fields are between 108 and 1015, 100 million to 1 quadrillion times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. The gravitational field at the neutron star's surface is about 2 multiplied by 10 11 200 billion times that of Earth's gravitational field. As the star's core collapses, its rotation rate increases as a result of conservation of angular momentum, and newly formed neutron stars hence rotate at up to several hundred times per second. Some neutron stars emit beams of electromagnetic radiation to, that make them detectable as pulsars. Indeed, the discovery of pulsars by Jocelyn Bill Bernal and Anthony Hebb in 1967 was the first observational suggestion that neutron stars exist. The radiation from pulsars is is thought to be primarily emitted from regions near their magnetic folds. If the magnetic folds do not coincide with the rotational axis of neutron star, the emission beam will sweep the sky. And when seen from a distance, if the observer is somewhere in the path of the beam, it will appear as pulses of radiation 
coming from a fixed point in space. This is called lighthouse effect. The fastest spinning neutron star is known a is known as PSR J seventeen eighty four dot two four four six AD, rotating at the rate of seven hundred sixteen times a second or forty three thousand revolutions per minute, giving linear speed at the surface on the order of zero point two four C. That is nearly a quarter the speed of light. So this was our today's video. If you have liked this video, then share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you in the next video. Goodbye.